hi. It's Rachel again. Um, this must seem really weird. I'm doing this like every day. It's, I just love doing this so much. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm alone. I just like to talk to a video camera. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I guess I'm going to do like a Vlogbrothers type thing and say that this video comes in five parts, okay? Part one. Kyle. Thanks for subscribing, Kyle. <laughs> That's really nice of you. Um, I love you. And yes, you are fun to talk to. Your way of thinking is very interesting. I mean that in a good way. Yeah. Oh, I need to ask you how n uh, North Relton is. And also, Becca, how's North Relton? Because I want to know, and uh, my mom wants to know too for some reason. So, I don't know, tell me. Text me or something. Uh, part two. <laughs> two. <laughs> sad pandas. Kyle asked me what sad pandas meant. Well, actually, he said sad pandas, WTF, question mark. So, uh, sad pandas is, I don't know where I got that from or why I started saying it, but I guess I can, I think of it this way, like, if you see a sad panda, you are sad too. I mean, how could you be happy when you, there's a sad panda? So, and I'm sad. Sad pandas. Uh, part three. Something I need to tell Robin. Now, go ahead, get angry at me, Robin. I don't. I don't care, I know I haven't finished Breaking Dawn yet. I know it's been like a month since the book came out and I still haven't finished it. I don't know what it is. I think the demon baby just took all the snap out of it for me. So that's why I haven't finished it. It's cool! It's not that it's like a bad book, but I don't know. I, I haven't really had time to read it because I had to read Count of Monte Cristo. Which is a dumb book. Don't read that book at all. You'll want to murder people when you're done with it. Okay. Uh, part four. At school today, I saw something that was like the most awesome thing that I've ever seen in my life. I saw like the exact like teenage equivalent of John Green. Now, most of you probably don't know who John Green is, except like Amy and Robin. So, uh, John Green is a young adult author, and he also uh, does this uh, vlog with his brother Hank. They decided in 2007 not to textually communicate for like an entire year, like no text messages, no emails, nothing. Only the only thing they could do was each day they had to make a video blog talking to the other brother, and they did that for an entire year, and even now they're still doing it, only not on a daily basis. So that's who he is, and I love him. I love you, John. And Hank, you're awesome. Anyway, um, part five, In Your Pants. This is another Brotherhood to point out. I'm obsessed with that, so sorry. But, I don't know. You know, In Your Pants is like, you uh, take a book title, or possibly a movie title, it doesn't really matter, and uh, add In Your Pants to the end of it. And I was thinking about this, so I decided to go to my bookshelf, and find books that it really works with the in your pants joke. So I'm just I have a couple here. I was too lazy to get the other one, so I'll just tell you. Okay, here we got my Green Day book. Nobody likes you in your pants. And uh, let's see what else we got. Got the great Maya Angelou book. I know why the caged bird sings in your pants. And then we have this lovely old book, Wild Geese Flying in Your Pants. And then the fourth one, which I don't have with me because I was reading it before and I didn't want to go over it, is The Hobbit in Your Pants. I wouldn't want a hobbit in my pants. No. Well, uh, maybe if The Hobbit was Elijah Wood. Maybe. But not like a normal, like, book hobbit. Anyway. Uh, that's all I have to say, so bye. I guess I'll s talk to you because I won't see you, but I'll talk to you like tomorrow because I totally will do another one of these. So bye everyone!